Gracious Sires. Today, let's dive into the world of stevia tomatoes. What is stevia, anyway? Stevia is a natural sweetener made by extracting a substance called steviol glycoside from the leaves of the stevia rabaudiana plant, originally from Central and South America. I recently bought some commercially available stevia. Upon opening it, it turned out to be a very fine powder. I tasted a spoonful and found it to be much sweeter than expected, with a slight bitter aftertaste. Stevia is 300 times sweeter than sugar, but has no calories because our bodies don't absorb it. It also doesn't raise blood sugar levels, which is why so many dieters love it. Now, how are mini tomatoes with stevia made? Some growers sprinkle stevia on the soil and leaves while the tomatoes grow, absorbing the sweetener. However, these tomatoes generally don't end up very sweet. Interestingly, the really sweet stevia tomatoes we eat are just regular mini tomatoes that have been treated with stevia. We took a closer look under a microscope to see if we could spot any signs of stevia infusion. But there were no holes or marks on the tomatoes. In the past, stevia was injected into tomatoes using a syringe, but this method damaged the tomatoes quickly and reduced their shelf life. Now, they place the mini tomatoes in a solution with stevia and apply pressure to push the stevia into the tomato skin. Interesting, isn't it? This method doesn't harm the skin, but does make the tomatoes softer, so their shelf life is still quite short. So it seems like stevia tomatoes are a high-tech product, but in reality, it's basically like sprinkling stevia on regular small tomatoes. Why do they only sell mini tomatoes with stevia? Since mini tomatoes are eaten whole, it's hard to notice different tastes in different parts, and their firm skin is ideal for stevia infusion. With stevia's reputation for being sugar-free and calorie-free, many think stevia tomatoes are completely diet-friendly, no matter how much they eat. To check this, we compared blood sugar levels after eating stevia tomatoes and regular mini tomatoes. I ate 200 grams of each on an empty stomach. Then I took a blood sample. Turns out, blood sugar levels increased similarly for both. Although often misunderstood as sugar-free, stevia tomatoes actually contain about the same amount of sugar and calories as regular tomatoes. Mini tomatoes are already low in calories and high in fiber, making them a good choice for a diet. However, the sweetness of stevia tomatoes can make it hard to stop eating them, and studies show that too much sweetener can actually increase hunger, which isn't great for weight loss. If you're serious about losing weight, sticking to regular small tomatoes might be better. Lastly, I tried adding stevia directly to regular mini tomatoes. Eating stevia alone wasn't great, but it tasted really good with the tomatoes. Stevia tomatoes are pricier than regular mini tomatoes, but if you often eat stevia tomatoes, you might find it cheaper to buy a stevia sweetener like this one. And it turns out that the stevia tomatoes you buy usually have a lot more stevia in them. Stevia is generally safe, but eating too much can cause stomach pain and diarrhea. So be careful, especially if you're allergic to the Estrasia family or have kidney issues. We should be cautious when consuming stevia tomatoes. That's all for our video on stevia tomatoes. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science unveils the mysterious.